It's an exciting time to be part of the Mallorca team. We currently sit top of the table, five points ahead of Real Madrid with only eight left to play. Previously, we ended on with a massive 5-2 victory over Atletico Madrid. They weren't really up to it and we did continue our form playing against Osasuna, who we managed to pick up a 2-0 victory across Jacuizzi finding Samodic, and this is going to be an absolute beautiful strike for Samodic to rifle the ball in the back of the net to give us a one-goal lead. And we just kind of just used Samodic, really, just to show how well he and how good he is actually playing for us, as he rescues three points for us to maintain that top spot of five points. Points. With the eight games remaining, we do play Real Madrid, but we are at home. Hopefully that goes in our favour. Then we go on a little run of Salta Vigo, Real Sociedad, Cadiz, Tenerife, Alch, also Getafe and Girona. If we get any points from Real Madrid and Real Sociedad, I think we win this league. That's what I'm going to say and that's where I'm going to go with it. So it's time to now crack in because we have a match right now against Real Madrid in the league. So can we get a victory against them? Ardegula is injured. He couldn't play anyway purely because he would have been against a loan deal ship there. So we can't use him. But this is going to be the team. This is what's going to run with it. And hopefully this gets us a win. The biggest game of Mallorca's career, I guess, or club. We've got to do something special here, and hopefully we can start pretty well. It doesn't look like it is, as Alba's going to get a throw-in on the left-hand side here. Finds Camavinga, who moves it down. Rudiger is going to bring it out. These are going to be fighting for this. These are going to be so hungry. It's going to be unbelievable. As Courtois gets that ball, plays it long. Can we get the winner there? We certainly can. Chikrizi with a nice ball. Finds down to Manukone. Samaric trying to bring that ball forward. Chikrinio going to push. Get in there. Go on, lad. Push into the box. Finds the ball. Esposito. Ah! How? How has he done that? Free kick though, Samadji is going to push it into the box. It's a good header away for Real Madrid. And they're going to try and counter-attack now as Militao is going to push down this right-hand side. Plays a good ball in, finding Nico. But that's a great tackle from Lato as he finds the ball to Samadji. Finds more lanes. Great ball outside to Chuck Weezy, who's going to push forward into the penalty area now. Can he find a good pass across? He surely can. Finds it. And there's a goal. Manu, more lanes. Gets us a goal. Takes a one-goal lead in the tie. Come on, let's go. Real Madrid straight from kickoff. Are not going to take that lightly. I can tell you that for a fact. I might go a little bit defensive here. For the first time, I might go double DMs for this game. Just to try and see it out as an institute unit. Oh, well, let's see where this highlight goes first. Because this is going to end up as over the bot. I'm going to go double DMs. So we've just dropped some audits and Kone as our holding midfielders now. Just to try and a bit more defensive. I know you're probably going to go, ah, oh, just go all out attack. I've really done like a, a kind of Southgate there. I'm going to live it scared and panicky as the ball comes across. Ah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. Silly, silly boy. Silly boy. We did invite the pressure on there, but we're going to try and get something before half time here. Samadji's going to get that ball, push into a lot of space, finds more lanes. Oh my god, more lanes has got us another one. More lanes, the hero of the game today, with two goals from us. Let's go, come on. This is mental. This is mental. It's another kickoff highlight for Real Madrid. I don't like this. Camavinga gets that ball. I don't like this at all. Straight, but not before half time as well. As Vinny Jr. is going to push forward, finds Militao in acres of space there, finds too many good ball movements. Nico gets it, but Manu with a great interception there. As Nubals hopefully clears this ball for us. So we bring it out really well. Smartich then clears it. A bit panicky, but Chukwizi headers with a. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on. I feel like something dodgy is going to happen. There's too many lunge tackles. There's too much craziness going on. Everyone just. Is scaring me right now, and I don't know what the situation. We're bringing it forward though. Jacquees is going to get that ball. What is he going to do with it? Can he find the right pass? As he are oh, chopping at his ankles, there's Jacquino gets that ball. Going to look to get something in the middle of the box as Lato pushes in. Going to push forward, strikes it, hits it over the bar. It's a glorious chance. A very strange highlight, but we'll take it. And that sees the end of the half. We are currently 2-1 up against Real Madrid. They have had a lot of momentum. I'm not going to lie. We've just scored our two chances and we're going to keep it as it is. Hopefully, this becomes... The biggest win we've ever had. Chuck Weezy is a little bit tired here, so I'm just going to see him out to the 60th minute and then bring him off because he's playing an eight. He's been absolutely phenomenal for us. We're going to bring him off, and the problem that I have is it's going to have to be Javi on that wing out there for a bit of pace because Ernie's actually got injured, so that's not ideal for us. Oh, injuries in this game. 
can absolutely do one. This is incredible. Bourne is going to now come on the left-hand side because the other winger has now got injured as well. So the injuries keep on flowing through. And Bourne, hopefully, because he's not playing any defensive role, I'm hoping he just doesn't do anything stupid or get sent off or anything like that. That's, that's the aim anyway. That's what we're going to plan to do as we move this ball. Manu, going to find Kone. That's a bad pass. That's a bad pass. Nico. Going to push the ball. Endrick finds a great ball. Vinicius Jr. in acres of space there. Balls the ball across. What a save from Nubal. Oh, my days. That's a, such a good save from that deflection off our own player. Corner is going to get whipped in, though. Ventscar puts it in. Rudiger's there, but it's a good header away. Cleans it down. Ball's going to be loose. Head up. And Nubal's claims it. Whew, breathe. Calm down. What are we doing? Are we panicking? I know we're in a situation that we're not usually into here with Real Madrid, but we've got to be doing a little bit better. As I think a misplaced pass or something is coming because we're looking very nervous here. And I'm nervous myself. Small lanes. There you go. There's the bad pass. There's the bad pass. Nico's going to pick that ball up, push into the box, a lunge in there, strikes it, and Newball yet again tipped it over the bar. Boys, just calm down. Just calm down. Ball whipped in, headed away. Can you get second ball though? Let's kind of ring it. Highlight ends. Uh oh, Ego is going to bring that ball. Samardic finds a good ball. Chavi. I don't want him passing to Chavi really. He's not the best. So Samardic is going to get that ball now. We're going backwards, boys. But there's acres of space, acres of space. Thank you. Good find there. Lato, now go, 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 go. Bar drop, push forward. I know you're not the attacking role there, but oh, what a challenge that is from Ed and Militao. That's unbelievable. Like, that's incredibly good, isn't it? Wowzer. So Real Madrid now push Camavinga. That's an interception though. Masrinio with a great interception. Push, Javi, push. No, he's just not going anywhere. Ball in. Oh, we just, what's he done? Board, what are you doing? What, I don't know what's going on. This is, just seems a weird game. Something funky is going to happen. I could just feel it. Nico's going to push now. Finds a ball, Vinicius Jr. Finds a great ball to Camavinga. Acres of space. And there's the goal. That's what it was. That's what, it, it's just been a weird game. Such a strange ordeal of like, I don't know, weirdness in this game. 2-2 two -two though. Hopefully we can see this out. I'll take a draw against these. Five points clear. But this is a weird game. We do get a throw in an 85th minute. Masuino plays it down. Chavi is in there, pushes into the box. Chavi, yeah, more leads with a hat trick. Are you kidding me? Come on. Yes. Get in. What is this? What is going on? Oh, my days. Oh, Chavi, everything I have said to you. Well, to be fair, you shouldn't have shot there. I should have passed. But everything I've said to you, I apologize. Ritu, six minutes of added time. We are going to time waste here. Oh, oh, we got a corner. We get a corner if we get another goal here. Ball's going to get whipped in. Xavi's there. Picks it up. Masuinio. Xavi. Strike. Oh, he strikes again. It's not gone anywhere near. We could get a throw in, though. I have got time waste on, so we're going to waste a bit of time here. Oh, man. Two minutes left to go. Two minutes left. A big amount of time wasted from us. I'm absolutely fine with that. Chavi picks that ball. Samardic. What is that, Samardic? What are you doing? What is that? What have you just done? Oh, Ego. Ego. What a player. We've done it. We've done it. We've absolutely done it. Four lanes. Whatever you want, you can have. A hat trick from more lanes is unbelievable. I don't believe it. We are eight points clear at the top with seven games left. I don't believe it. And there it is. Eight points clear at the top of the table against Real Madrid. Seven games left. Chikoridio is going to be injured for three to four weeks. Not ideal. The board give us 13 million and 1.1 million in the wages. We don't even have any time to kind of think about what's just happened. We're straight back into another game, and it's going to be Celta Vigo this time. A win here just solidifies that gap and a little bit of breathing space for us. And a comfortable 4-1 victory sees Manukone getting two goals bored as well, and Chukwizi getting a goal for us, which also helps out. We are now 11 points clear at the top of the table, but Real Madrid do have a game in hand on us. We also know that Almira are a pretty tough side. They've already beat Real Madrid once. They've beat us as well. And they beat Valencia at five something. So maybe, maybe that 11 point gap is staying for a while. Let's have a look. And it's going to be a nil nil. Are you kidding me? We are 10 points clear with six left to play. Wow. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable.
The Yente comes in and Javier looks a very promising player. He is actually 15 years old and looks quite decent. Maybe, maybe a future prospect for other clubs. I don't know, but we'll keep our eyes on him. And more games for us as we now face Real Sociedad, who are fifth in the league. So this is going to be a tough one for sure. Away from home, I'm not too confident in it. Morley's and also Ines are kind of getting back fit. Morley's more importantly after that hat-trick against Real Madrid. It actually doesn't go our way as Osria Bell picks up a 1-0 victory for Real Sociedad. Not ideal for us, as I wanted to win this title quite quickly. Still, it remains seven points clear at the top of the table from Real Madrid, with only five games remaining. And we have a battle of the title race here. As you can see, we do have a little bit of the easier run here, with Cadiz, Tenerife, Alch, Getafe, and also Girona. Four of the teams are in the bottom, well, all five of them are actually in the bottom half of the table, whereas Real Madrid over the other side, they have to find a face, Levante, Espanyol, Sevilla, Cadiz, and Valencia. So some tough games in there as well, but more giving in our favour than it is Real Madrid. The battle continues here as we play away to Cadiz and Real Madrid playing away to Levante. 16th and 15th in the slots here, so I reckon two wins for the away side. <laughs> And to be fair, the result that we got was exactly what it was going to be as we pick up a 5-1 victory for us. And Manu Kone with one unbelievable strike there. Put the ball in the back of the net for a one-goal lead. And then kind of the second half, we kind of opened up a little bit and just gets a bit more free-flowing as we whip the ball into Esposito to head a goal in for us. And then Cadiz did try and put the scares on us as a long throw. Once again, set pieces being the bear of our bad news here. As they get a long throw going in, but that didn't stop us as more lanes yet again getting involved heavily into this game and involving goals as Esposito doubles his tally to give us a 3-1 lead. And he's not going to stop there is Esposito as we get the ball down. Polo gets that ball, going to push into the box, strikes it, and has a great finish, slotting it away for 4-1. And here comes our main man, Esposito, getting himself a hat-trick as well. As Svanberg does really well to push all the way forward. And a beautiful delivery in the box there to tap it in for a hat-trick and a 5-1 victory. And Real Madrid also win as well. And that keeps the gap still seven points at the top of the table. Only four games remaining right now. There could be a big upset here as Real Madrid do play host to Espanyol, who are sick, who are looking to push themselves into the Champions League spots here. So we could do with a little bit of a draw here. That would be massive for us, as we're going to praise Esposito there for his wild work. It's not going to be a draw. It's going to be 3-0 to Real Madrid, unfortunately. So the uh, the countdown still carries on. We need to now get a win against Tenerife, who are rock bottom and pretty much in the relegation. They are 12 points off survival here. So it should be another comfortable win for us and push us back to seven points with only three games remaining. And a comfortable 3-0 victory. What we were expecting there. Esposito, Ardegula and Morlanes gain on the score sheet yet again. And we just shut them out, really. No shots on target. I'm very happy with that. Although, an injury in the 96th minute. Come on. Not what we wanted to see. The game was already over. Should have blew the whistle. And Mastrino has actually damaged his cruciate ligaments in the 96th minute he does that injury. He's out for seven to eight months. Also, Samardic is now out for two to three weeks. This is unbelievable. One thing I will say about the La Liga is you play games all over the shop. Now, I know that it's TV rights and stuff like that, but Sevilla now hosts Real Madrid, and they are going to go and probably lose. Yep, they did. They lost 3-0 yet again. Real Madrid are on a storm. But we do have our game against Alch now. So if we beat Alch, we win the league. Pretty much as it is, because there's only two games left, and we see ourselves seven points clear above them. So this is huge for us, because we can secure the La Liga title and win our first trophy in what will be the start of this wonderful glory hunter. Biggest game of our career. I keep saying this, don't I? But this one really is. Bon is going to have to go and play on the right-hand side. Now, I don't think he's too familiar with that or comfortable with it, but that's what he's going to have to do. I'm also going to bring in Svanberg for our injured Samaric as he's going to be in there. Odegula is going to play. Hopefully, we can get this win and see us lift up the La Liga title. <laughs> There's not many fans here, I'm not going to lie. It looked a little bit quiet, especially on this right-hand side for some reason. As you can see there, there's literally like two or three fans. Not sure what the situation is here, but maybe they're expecting a 
Tumbling, I don't know. Is that a bad pass there? Is that an easy goal? Is this match victim? Do these not want Real Madrid with the title? I'll take it though from Alch. 1 0. As we get a throw in as well, plays it down to Ernest. Back to uh, Kone. He's going to now open his body up. Fine, Silva. Can he bring that ball forward? That's a good pass. Ordegula. Oh, okay. I thought Ordegula was going to turn on it then. Is Ego gets Ordegula. Finds Esposito. Back down to Ego. Good ball movement. There's a, there was a run there. There's a, still there. Chukwizi. Use your pace. Use your pace. Manukone goes back. Okay, it's patient build-up play. I don't mind that. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, go on. Yes, there we go. Chuck Weezy back into it. Going to find the ball. Go oh, dribbling that. He's so good and so fast. Ball across. There's a ball. And there's Ardegula to give us a two-goal lead. And hopefully, one hand on the La Liga trophy. There's Alex Luke like Oh, Chuck Weezy with a great tackle there. Gets it all the way back to Ego. Plays it down to Manu Silva. Svanberg is there. Finds a good pass. Ernest, use your pace, mate. Use your pace. That's what I love to see. Great dribbling. Oh, he goes backwards though. What's he doing? He got four, he got past the player then, went backwards. He, he did the hard pass and then just kind of recuperated everything. I don't know what he did there. So Kone's going to bring full Ordegula. Going to try and find a pass. Finds a great pass for Chuck Weezy then. Acres of space. Going to dribble it into the box. Try to get a del delivery in. Who's always, he's going to do it himself. He's going to do it himself. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. Chuck Weezy with a great goal there to give us a three goal lead. Come on. Alex do get a free kick there. We know we're not very good at free kicks. So the ball's going to get down. Still winning. There's Ego. Gets it. Cleans it out. Only to a, another player though is Guti gets that ball. What's he going to do with it? Finds a good ball to Yukan. Oh, what a board. What are you doing? He's just fell over again. What's going on there? Ball strikes and there's Nubo with a great save for us. We need to stop being a little bit silly there with that. Just get, get rid of it. I know we're bad with set pieces. Well, let's not do anything stupid. Just get rid of it. Hoof it out. And hopefully they don't get a goal from it as it's been moved around really well. Edge of the box. Straight into Nubo's hands. No worries whatsoever. Lato picks that ball up. Finds that Svanberg. I don't like that Svanberg. It's got a yellow card. Got to be a little bit careful of that. As Ernest is going to push forward now using his pace. Gets it back to Lato. Finds a good pass. This is fan big. Oh, great run. Great run. Ernest is there. Gets us a goal. 4 0. Dare I say it? La Liga champions? Just saying. This is unbelievable. The ball movement as well from Ernest and Lato and Svanberg here. The, the, the one two passing. Oh, it's just so intricate. It's beautiful as well. We'll take it. I'll do get that ball though. Can we put a peer pressure on them? I don't want to just go a little bit complacent here because we're 4 0 up, and that's just going to be something stupid if we do that. So we've got to try and get this ball back and just kind of maintain possession really more than anything as they are pushing down this right hand side for them. Can they get a whip in? Finds a good ball into the center. I can't pronounce all of these names, so that's why I'm not pronouncing them, guys. Just so, just show you where they're. I'm just going to say that player. As they still have the press of the ball here. Please get it off them. Moving it around well. Good football. Tackle. Yes, Ardegul again involved there. We don't need to see that. That was not in goal. Ball whipped in. Can we deal with it? Ivan is back there. Ego gets that spurt. Don't get seconds. And I, I hate set pieces. <laughs> we are so bad at set pieces. It's unbelievable. End of the first half there. And that set piece has a little bit upset me because we've been playing really well. It's just one thing I can't deal with. But we still take a 4-1 lead into the second half. Sam Big boots it down. Finding nearly to the second half. What a ball over to Esposito, that is. A misplaced header there is going to do as well. So Esposito still runs with that ball. Finds Chukwizi in the box. Finds Manu Kone. Strikes the ball. And it's wide. Manu, Manu, Manu. A throw in down the wing as well. Ball finds Chukwizi. A bad pass in the center there. Sam Berg. I'm, mad. I'm taking Svanberg off. It's Esposito. It's the ball there. Svanberg's coming off. We are going to bring on... We're going to bring on Bernardo into the centre mid spot there. Manu I'm going to bring off as well for Capit. And also, I'm going to bring more lanes on for Ardegula. Because more lanes has kind of deserved it. After that game against Real Madrid, he deserves to be on this field. As Lato's going to push forward now. Good ball movement with his feet there. He's fantastic. Zardegula strikes it. And he's going out for a corner. Chukwizi going to whip this ball in. Tries to go front pass. Esposito gets it. But he's headed into the goalkeeper's hand. Okay, I was going to bring this ball through the center here. As you can, it can bring it forward. Finds a good pass over to the left-hand side now. As Peru pushes down the left. Ball into the box. Diamond's there. Oh, my days. It's off the bar. I am getting a little bit panicky now. I know we're 4-1 up. But boys, come on. Come on. As Alex are actually pushing for this. As Chapala gets that ball, down on the right-hand side, ball into the box. Ivan's there, heads it over, he's heads over the ball. Boys, boys, please mark Ivan, he looks about four foot something. How is he winning these headers? Okay, they are still pushing here. They want this second goal, they 100% do. And I'm a bit scared if they do get the second goal. As Nacho's going to push forward, hits the ball over the ball. A little bit of a let off there. And as we take down now, 93rd, mate, 93rd. Can he go with the final whistle? And... 
Boosh, there we go. The first one is done. Mallorca, written in the stars. To be fair, this team is absolutely stacked. I can't get over how good this team is. And we fully deserve this because Manu Kone, Samardic, Esposito, Chiquizzi, Ernie saw the wings rapid. This team is absolutely unbelievable. Manu Silva as well at the back. La Liga champions, written in the history for Mallorca. Let's go. Come on. Yes, that feels good. Spain, done, dusted, written off. It's time to find another club. Where will we go? Where will we go? I have no idea. I'm actually terrified. I don't know where we're going to go. And there you go. Mallorca win first division. We win La Liga. Absolutely unbelievable scenes. The fans are absolutely proud and crazy. Mallorca board happy with the first division win. Absolutely they are. Toppling Real Madrid and Barcelona there. Chukwizi on form as well. We're going to send the assistant to that one. And that is us. Whoa, that's mad. That's mad. I'm going to see the, the next two games out, guys, and get to the end of the season for us. We actually end the season as well, picking up a 4-1 victory over Getafe. And then a 5-4 game, a thriller of an end of the game. End of the season game there. 5-4 against Girona, which sees the lead table looking like this for us. And that leaves the lead table looking like this. We finished top seven points clear as well. Almira actually got Champions League. Good for them because they deserved it. They beat us. They beat Real Madrid. They beat a couple other teams as well. Fantastic season for them. That's unbelievable. Osasuna, Tenerife, and Balcona go down for them as they are in the relegation there. Unfortunately for them. I'm going to have a quick goosey gander over here at the job center to see who is actually available. Liverpool is available. West Ham, Leicester and Fulham. But I'm not going to go Leicester or Fulham because they're, rele they're rele relegated. But we could potentially see some life in the Premier League there. Leon as well. Okay. Leon could potentially be a shout. We've got some, we've got some teams here. It looks like it's only going to be England or France, though, but there is possibilities right now. One thing as well, with winning the La Liga, it has boosted our reputation up super high as well. So I am well, well chuffed with that for us. And that, guys, is where we are going to end the episode. I am going to do something crazy, and we are going to go to our contract, and we're going to resign. Yes, I'm doing it. We are resigning for Mallorca. It's been a pleasure. We win our trophy and we are done. There you go. Tekken 147 steps down as Mallorca. I appreciate the love. Appreciate the support that they give us. We are done. We're on to our next team. Guys, thank you very much for joining me on this episode. You are absolute legends. Please make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe. It helps you out massively with this channel. La Liga. Done and dusted. On to one of the next four leagues. See if we can do it. Find out in the next episode who we manage as well. I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye-bye.